Hello and welcome to Data Science Corner. This is part one of most frequently asked SQL interview questions and answers. First, what is SQL? So SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is a standard programming language used to manage and manipulate relational databases. It enables users to create, read, update, and delete data as well as manage database structure and control access. Question number two, what are the different types of SQL commands? SQL offers different commands. There are five types of SQL commands. First one is DDL, data definition language. DDL commands helps us to define or modify the structure of a database. For example, the commands include create, alter, drop, the command create is used to create new database objects. For example, tables, views, schemas. Alter. Alter command is used to modify existing database structure. For example, add or remove columns. Drop. The command drop is used to delete database objects completely. If you use drop command, it will delete the table as well as the structure of the table. Next one is DML, data manipulation language. So data manipulation language commands deal with data manipulation within tables. For example, we have insert, update, delete. Insert command adds new rows of data to a table. Update modifies existing data in a table. Whereas delete command is used to remove specific rows from a table. Next one is DQL, data query language. DQL command is used specifically for querying data. For example, we use select command. So select is used to retrieve data from table. Next one is DCL, data control language. So data control language commands helps us to manage access and permissions. For example, we have grant and revoke in DCL. Grant is used to give users permission on database objects. For example, if you use grant select on students to user one. So what this will do is this will grant select access to user one. Revoke removes permissions from the user. So, so whatever access we gave to the users using grant command that can be revoked or removed using revoke command. Next one is TCL, transaction control language. TCL commands are used to manage database transactions. For example, we have in TCL commit rollback save point. Commit is used to save all changes made in the current transaction permanently. Rollback, rollback is used to undo the changes in the current transaction. Whereas save point is used to set a save point within a transaction for partial rollbacks. Question number three is what is the primary key? A primary key is a unique identifier for a record in a database table. It ensures that no two rows have the same value in the specified column or columns and prevent null values. Question number four, what is a foreign key? A foreign key is a column or a set of columns in one table that stabilizes a link to the primary key in another table. It is used to maintain referential integrity between two tables. Question number five, what is the difference between where and having? So where clause is used to filter rows before any grouping occurs and it is used with individual rows. Whereas having filters group of rows after grouping is done, it is used with an aggregate functions. Question number six, what is the difference between delete and truncate? So delete remove rows one by one and it can be specified with a where clause and it is reversible with rollback. So whenever we are using delete, we use a where clause to tell the system to remove the rows which met some conditions in the where clause. Truncate whereas it removes all rows and it is very much faster than delete 
and but it is irreversible you can't reverse it using rollback now one more thing delete is almost similar to truncate if you don't use where clause so if you don't use a where clause in delete it will remove all the rows in the table one common thing between delete and truncate is they are removing rows from the table it doesn't delete the or remove the structure of the table question number 7 what is a join in sql a join in sql is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column it helps retrieve data that spans multiple table there are various types of joins inner join left join right join full outer join cross join we'll be looking into all these types of joins later in our videos question number 8 what is the difference between care and where care care is a fixed length data type that stores a predefined number of characters unused space is padded with blanks for example if you write care 5 inside the bracket it always stores five characters even for shorter inputs whereas where care is a variable length data type that stores only the actual input length up to a defined limit for example where care in the bracket 5 if you write it stores exactly what is input up to five characters without padding question number 9 what is the use of like operator the like operator in sql is used to search for a specified pattern in a column it is often used with wild card characters like percentile symbol so percentile symbol represents zero one or multiple characters like here in this example we use select star from employees where name like j percentile so in the name column all the employees whose name starts with j will be taken for the output underscore represents a single character so it will match with a single character only so if we write select star from employees where name like underscore j percentile it will mean that they want the names with j as the second character question number 10 what is the default sorting order in sql so the default sorting order in sql is ascending so if you use order by clause if you don't mention anything by default sql will take it in a ascending order if you want in descending order you need to use desc in order by clause then only it will sort the output in descending order based on the column you mentioned thank you we'll see you in the next video with some more most frequently asked sql interview questions and answers